Oh, Documentary Now is named sort of a mockumentary where you guys recreate already existing documentaries, but what makes a good candidate? Like, how do you decide which one to choose? Uh, I mean, it, it starts definitely from a character place, I think. Um, you know, we like to find ways to balance Bill and Fred. Um, so I think that those are sort of usually the, the ways in. But, um, I mean, there are other rules I mean, we've figured out. There's obviously a world of amazing documentaries that we've talked about, but if it doesn't have a really good, this could be Bill and this could be Fred, it sort of falls away. And then the ones that are clearly, that's a hilarious combination of those two kind of come to the forefront. Yeah. So do you guys ever hear from the original makers of the documentaries? What do they have to say? Uh, you, you hear from them more because you're kind of more documentary friendly. I, well, they've, it's been great. Uh, yeah, we, we've done a couple of uh, episodes based on Maisel's brother's films, and before Al Maisel's passed away, we actually spoke with him about how he made his films. Um, the Panabaker clan uh, were actually at our uh, premiere this season, um, and they really enjoyed it, and they, it was really fun to hear the sort of inside story of the things that we were actually satirizing that we didn't even know why these things were happening. It's terrifying, too, having these people... I mean, number one, see them and then be there because, again, a lot of, you know, making a documentary is a lot of hard work. <laughs> uh, and so always, I always feel a little sort of ashamed of our shortcuts to just <laughs> using their template and, and having fun with it. Cause, well, yeah. At least all they have is positive things to say, right? They support you guys. Apparently. I mean, to yeah. our faces, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. To your faces. So... Um, I know that you guys try to keep as true to the documentary as possible, whether it's outfits or locations or looks. Is there anything you're particularly proud of that you kind of nailed down? I think that the animation in our last episode, oh, yeah. which was based on the Bob Evans documentary, The Kid Stays in the Picture, which we can't take any credit for, but we have this incredible post team uh, who recreated all of those incredible two and a half dimensional photographs um, and those kinds of animations which looked so spot on uh, yeah. I mean I'm certainly proud of I didn't do any of that work we have great post guys that do that but to Alex's credit though I would say I mean the photography in a number I mean like the Globesman episode uh, this season and and the eye doesn't lie last season like there's ones where we're sort of trying to really hit a specific period in a feel and and um, I, I think, again, the, there's an aspect to, to sort of what Alex has figured out in re recreating these um, sort of little photographic worlds that it, I also think is pretty special that we don't see too much as well. Yeah, no, I mean, I've watched some of the documentaries and they look, at first I thought like some of the clips were actually from the real ones because they look so spot on. So, good job. So, when season three comes along, do you guys have your eye on any documentaries already? Or ones that you would potentially like to work on? I don't know if we're ready to announce anything. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of there's a couple of ideas we had from season two that we didn't get to do that we'll carry over to season three. Um, so yeah. yeah, we've got our eye on a few things. Couldn't squeeze anything out of you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, guys, and good luck with season three okay, when much. it comes. Thanks.